first observed by Robert Brown in 1827. He saw continuous random motion of pollen grains in water. The phenomenon wasn't fully explained until 1905 by Albert Einstein. Brownian motion is important because it gives direct evidence for the particle nature of matter. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a smoke cell. This is the bulb This is the glass rod acting as a lens, focusing the light horizontally through the smoke chamber. I'll just lift the smoke chamber out. Once I fill the smoke chamber with cold smoke, I will cover it with this cover slip. I will make cold smoke by using a paper straw and lighting the top. Cold smoke will pour out of the other end. So now the chamber is filled with cold smoke particles, which are around about a thousandth of a millimetre in size. Now, let's place the smoke cell under the microscope. So you start off with the smallest, least powerful lens, and bring up the microscope to the highest point in its travel. Place the smoke cell under the microscope and now lower the microscope until the cover slip comes into focus. The stationary dust particles you can see here are just stuck to the cover slip. Now lower the microscope again so the focal plane corresponds with the illuminated smoke particles in the middle of the smoke chamber. Now you can see the Brownian motion. It is caused by the smoke particles being unevenly bombarded by fast moving air particles. Tiny as they are, the smoke particles are many millions of times larger than the molecules of the air, so they move many millions of times slower than the air molecules air molecules travel on an average around the speed of sound. Depending on the microscope, you may be able to switch to the middle power lens. The higher power lens will not be able to fit and will clash with the cover slip. The plane of focus of a microscope is very shallow, so the particles appear and disappear as they move vertically through the plane of focus. We just wanted to show you how we got the through the microscope shots. We used the camera on my phone resting on a clamp attached to the eyepiece. Mm -hmm.